Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It is me, your favorite platinum baldy, D Wood. <laughs> and today I have a really cool video for you guys. I am gonna be showing you guys in detail how I retouch my roots. So if you wanna see how I get this icy platinum, stay tuned. So right now I look a mess, I sound a mess, my voice is a little bit, yeah. Um, I kind of been a little sick this past week, so I didn't really have the energy to do my hair, but today I have the energy. I guess I'm just looking a mess all around. My nails, my skin, my hair, everything is looking crazy, so I'm ready to just kind of shut up and get this ball rolling. So I get a lot of questions asking how I bleach my hair and retouch my roots. So I thought I would bring you guys a video showing y'all my routine and how I keep up with this platinum hair. If you have platinum hair, you know it's a lot of work to maintain. I realized that there is no way for me to successfully retouch my roots. The best way for me to do it is just to cut off all the blonde hair and restart. That is how I retouch my roots. So this is about how much new growth I have. Um, I think it's been about almost two months maybe since the last time I bleached my hair. And you can see it's a lot of black in the roots. So what I like to do is cut off majority of the platinum and then re-bleach my black hair. Now somebody did mention in a previous video of mine that cutting my hair was a waste of time. Um, and that bleaching it will kind of just go ahead and take care of these little blonde ends because if you know anything about blonde hair then you know if your hair is this light and you bleach it a couple more times it's just gonna dissolve right on off the hair it's gonna be in the sink in the shower down the drain the reason I don't like to just bleach over this because number one it takes a lot of bleach to bleach all of this and then I feel like my color is just hella patchy so that's why I prefer to cut it off so that I have less hair to work with I don't have to use as much bleach and the cover the color is a lot more even so that's just my way of doing it if you don't want to cut your hair that's cool do what works for you honestly I do not care <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and not too much though because I don't like cutting my hair when it's wet um, cause I just feel like it doesn't come out even, ugh, my hair is so dirty. Ugh, I just feel the gunk and the got to be and all of that in between my fingers. But the reason I do this is so that I'm able to kind of just detangle it a little bit better. As you can see, the hair actually still looks pretty dry. Oh, it's so thick right here. Look at all this coming out of my hair. Whew, girl. All right. So... I can't see nothing without my glasses, so I'm gonna have to bring my mirror a little bit closer. So I got my clippers right here, and I think I'm gonna start off with a number four guard. That is also a really frequent question that I get is what guard do I use? I just start off with a four. Four still might be a lot, but we are gonna see. I'm gonna start off with a four. Hopefully it's not too short, but I will tell you this. I don't really want my hair longer than a four, so even if... I were to go ahead and cut this and it cuts off a lot of the black that's cool because I don't really want it no longer than the foreguard if that makes sense mm -hmm. I'm no professional I guess I should have said that in the beginning um, I'm just a DIY diva and a finesse queen <laughs> as you can see four was like the perfect length I've done this so many times to where I kind of just know what works for me. Like I said, I am no professional. And if you are professional and you're criticizing my methods, save it for your mammy. Because unless you're going to come over here and cut my hair for free, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> unless, of course, you're giving constructive criticism. But some of y'all just be in my comments mad. Like, girl, it's not even your head. And I'm not your client. So leave me alone. So sometimes when I'm done doing this like first rough cut, I'll go back over it and try to give myself like a more professional style haircut. Um, but for right now, this is just me getting off all of these bleached ends. Mmm, girl. All 
right, so these are my roots that we're gonna be retouching. This is the first step. Um, I'm gonna come back once I get like my haircut finished and then I'll show y'all how I actually retouch the roots. Now it is time for y'all's favorite part, the bleach. Today I am gonna be using Quick Blue and I'm also gonna use Clear All Developer. So I don't really have much of the 30 volume left. I have, I don't even know how much is left in here either, but I'm gonna just have to mix these together. This is actually all of the developer that I have. I gotta look, but I think that's all I got. Before I actually start bleaching, I like to kinda base my edges with a lot of Vaseline. Just so I don't burn my skin. I be ODing. I put a lot of Vaseline here because I would rather be safe than to be sorry. I put it all over my ears. Like, I just glob it everywhere. That's done. I'm gonna moisturize my knees with the excess. Because, girl, I need it. My knees be ashy. Like I said, today I'm gonna be using Quick Blue. I think I'm gonna do two scoops. So that's one. And that's two. Hopefully I have enough developer. I'm also gonna put a couple packets of sweet and low. I think I'm gonna just do five. I like to put the sweet and low inside of the bleach mixture to kind of help eliminate any burning um, that may be caused from like sensitive scalp or if you've been scratching or something. I like to put the sweet and low in there. I do have a whole video about me using the sweet and low. For this specific reason again you don't have to do it but that's just what i do and what is this right here this is i'm just emptying out all this 30 because i don't really have much of it i'm gonna do that much 20 i don't know how much that was but that's what i put in there and i like to mix my bleach up with a spoon i just find that i'm able to get it a lot smoother and a lot creamier with a spoon versus like an applicator brush so again this is my process and that's just what i do i'll show y'all what it looks like because i'm mixing it up right now all right so that wasn't enough developers so i'm gonna just have to pour a little bit more typically i like to do 30 volume for my first process and then 20 volume for my second process but because i only have mostly 20 volume that's what we're just gonna have to use today so i have a feeling that i might have to do maybe three processes today but that's cool with me if you don't want to do three, you don't have to do three. Again, this is just what I do, what I'm comfortable with doing, and I think my hair will be okay. <laughs> now, I know professionals like to weigh their stuff out. I don't do that. I don't even have a scale that would allow me to do that. I just pour it. All right, so this is what we got so far. And that is a good enough consistency for me. I am going to mix it to just get it a little bit smoother, but all in all, that's kind of how I like my bleach to look. Kind of like a pudding or sour cream or something like that. That's just the texture that I like to go for. Now, I like to apply my bleach with my hand. It's just a lot easier for me that way. So, I'm going to put my glove on, get my mirror, and let's do this. caps or processing caps i just use kroger bags walmart bags dollar tree bags whatever is in my possession so today i have a burlington bag but you want to make sure that you don't put the printed side on your hair because it will transfer 
So basically you wanna use the inside of the bag that does not have the ink directly on it. You wanna make sure the inside of the bag is touching your hair and not the outside with the ink. Like I said, there's no burning whatsoever because I use the Sweet and Low. I am aware that there's a whole bunch of products out there on the market that you can add inside of your bleach mixture to ensure that it does not burn. But this big old box of Sweet and Low cost me $3. So, yeah. I'm gonna let this sit for like an hour. It is 6.48, so around eight o'clock, I'll wash that out and show you guys what I'm working with. So I was also trying to debate if I wanted to run to the store really quick and get the developer or just finish my hair tomorrow. And I think I'm going to just finish it tomorrow. So whatever we have out of this bag tonight is what we got for tonight. All right. So we are very, very yellow, obviously. I decided I'm just going to finish my hair tomorrow because like I've been complaining about this whole video, the whole developer thing. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to go pick up some more developer and then we're going to pick up where we left off and get this hair white. Day two. All right, y'all. So it is the next day. Today, I think will be a lot better because I did get some more developer. Um, so that is a good thing. I'm kind of just brushing my hair out. Well, combing my hair out right now. Cause so I guess let's just go ahead and do the same steps that I've been doing. I have been kind of like scratching my hair, but not bad. Just kind of like, you know, you get a little itch and you just kind of go like that. Um, so thank God for this sweet and low hack to help eliminate the burning sensation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my bleach mixture and I will see y'all on the other side. <laughs> So it is now 1.15. I think I'm gonna let this sit for like an hour. Come back and we're gonna see what color we're working with. But I know it's not gonna be white, so we're probably gonna have to bleach again. Um, but yeah, that's just how the game goes sometimes. It's been some time. Let's take this off and see what we got. Okay, it looks pretty light. So let's just wash this out and see. I actually left it in for like an hour and 30 minutes. So um, I'm about to go wash this out and then show you guys what the color looks like. Fresh off the press. <laughs> just wash the hair out. Let's do the reveal. Still very yellow. <laughs> Dang, I didn't wash this out good at all. All right, so we're working with like a 613, like a really, really pale yellow color. Now, I really could tone this out, like with purple shampoo, but me being me, I wanna bleach it again. <laughs> hey, y'all. I see my makeup. Baby, do you see the blush? Hello. So I am gonna bleach this one more time. As you guys can see, it is still very, very yellow. I mean, I don't wanna say very, very yellow, but she definitely is giving more so like 613 vibes and not icy platinum vibes. So I am gonna let my hair dry, do this whole thing one more time, but I'm not gonna let it sit for so long. I'm probably just gonna let it sit for like 30 minutes and I'm gonna use um 20 volume developer instead of 30 let it sit for about 30 minutes and then of course i'll show y'all that and yeah so this is my final round of bleach i'm only gonna really let this sit for like 30 minutes after that i'm gonna wash it out tone it style it and then show y'all the final product
Okay, so this is my mixture. I'm only gonna leave this in my hair for like five minutes because it's really, really dark and I just don't wanna risk turning my hair a dark color. So, leaving that in for five minutes, washing it out immediately. So that's pretty much how I do what I do. That is how I retouch my roots. I guess you could say I would do this maybe every one and a half to two months. It kind of just depends on what all I got going on. If I don't really have nothing special planned or, you know, anything where I need to look cute and put together, I will let my hair grow out as long as I can. My hair pretty much came out perfect. Like there is no flaw and this was all done by yours truly. I am super happy. I hope you guys found this video at least a bit helpful. I know you guys love the platinum hair content. So as long as y'all gonna watch it, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> That's pretty much the video, y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for tuning in once again. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that, girl. What are you waiting for? Clearly, you made it to the end of the video, so you like what you see. So go ahead and subscribe and become a part of the fam, okay? <laughs> if you are subscribed or if this is not your first time seeing me, thank you so much. That is all I have for y'all today, and I will see y'all in the next video.